Hi, this is John from Final Cut Pro Classes, and today's tutorial is about how to make a preset which can save you tons of time while you're working, uh, when you're making effects or you're doing some audio changes. Let me show you why. So here, as usual, I have a random sequence, and I have some green screen here, and so it has three elements. It has uh, the green screen, it has the background, and it has something that goes in this monitor. So basically, I, I did the work here on the green screen. So you know, it started out like this, and then I had to crop it, I had to put a, a key in it, a green screen, and I had to adjust that green screen, I had to do the transform, I had to move myself over. So a lot of things that went into here, I did color correction. So I don't want to have to do that over and over and over again. So basically, what I'm going to do is make a preset. The same with this bottom piece here. This is a video that fits into the screen, so I have to transform it and crop it, you know, and do a bunch of things to it to get it to fit in the screen. So I don't want to do that every time either. So what I'm going to do is make a preset so that, you know, I can take this clip, which has nothing on it, and make it into this. So I'm going to click on this first clip here, the green screen, where I have all the effects. And I've done all the effects. I have the, the keyer, I have the color board, I have the transform. And I'm going to say, Save Effects Preset. And that button is right down here at the bottom. So I'm going to say, Save That. And it's, I'm going to call it Green Screen. And I'm going to make a new category and I'll just call it John's effects and I'll create that. Now I have I have a choice here. If I did some keyframing, I, I could tell it to stretch to fit the clips or the maintain the timing. Right here it doesn't really matter, but on the next sequence it will. So I'm gonna say take all the transform, the position, the rotation, the scale, everything that I did to that, I want that to be saved in the effect. So I'm gonna hit save. Okay, and then also I want to save this effect because here I had to crop it down to fit in here so all my pictures are as big as the screen so I want to save this also as a preset and I'm going to call this screen and I'll keep it in the same category John's effects so I save that so now when I go to my effects palette so now I have this raw green screen here and in the middle here, I just have a, a background with, with a keyer in it. So that's why it's green here, but the keyer is in there, so it's black. So now I can just go to my effects palette here. And I will see in my list, John's effects, right here. And I can see my green screen is here. So if I take that green screen and I drop it in, then I have exactly what I want, and I don't have to spend 20 minutes making it. Also, if I want to put another picture in, like let's say I want to put another video in the background, and so with my screen, if I drop a, a clip down here and I want it to fit in the screen, then I can take my screen preset and drop it in so I don't have to do anything with that. So you can see where that can save you a lot of time. Also, I made another sequence here. Let's see my current sequence pin. Okay, so here's another example. I have a three layers that I made and I made a little dumb effect there, you know, but it does take time to do that. And if I want to use that again, this cropping effect, I want to save this as a preset. So I'd have to save every layer. So I'm going to click the first layer, save, save as preset. So I want to save all the transform and make sure the crop is there. Now this button is important because when I say maintain timing, if I click that, what it's going to do is the crop is going to come out the same amount of time, no matter how long the clip is. So the crop is going to stop where it stops here. If I say stretch to fit, it'll stretch that crop out to fit proportionally to the clip. So if the clip is really long, the crop is going to go really slow. If the clip is really short, the crop is going to go really fast. So it's going to be proportional. But I don't want that. I want it to maintain timing so that it always, always comes out the same. So I'm going to save this one as my top layer. And I'll keep it in my John's effects. So, I, and then I'm going to save this as my middle layer. So I go down here, say save preset, and I'll just say middle layer, and I'll save it in my effects uh, folder, and I'll say bottom layer here, and I'll save that preset. And I'll just say bottom layer, and that'll be there. Okay, so now if I want to do this effect again, I can just take my three clips. So I'll just randomly take three clips here. Okay, and now I have my presets right here, so I can just go grab this and go to the top layer, and this will go to the bottom layer, and then this will go to the middle layer. And now I have my effect really easily and really fast. 
So if you're doing something complicated, that is a great time to make a preset, especially if you want to use that again. Now, another thing is, if I go back to my other sequence, let's say that in this, I need to have a, a picture on the other side. So if, if I go and I grab another green screen here, and let's say that on this one, I need to be on the other side, but everything else is going to be the same. So I can go and drop my green screen effect on there. I can move myself over here for whatever reason, even though I'm in front of the TV. And I can save that as another preset. So I can save that as green screen right. So you don't have to make the whole thing over again. You can save that, you know, that change in the preset. So let me make sure I have everything checked that I did. And I hit save. So now again, if I drop another green screen in there and I need to be on the other side, then I would, you know, take another green screen. I'll just take a short clip here and I'll just drop it in. And now, so now I just go to my green screen, right? Drop it in and I'm on the right side. All my keying is there and everything else, color correction. Also, if I did some audio adjustments on my audio here, I can save those audio presets too. If I go here, and I did some lowering, so I didn't do any adjustments here or keyframing, but I could save those also as a preset. So maybe I put limiter in there or I did some sound effects, whatever. I can save that also as a preset. And if I did some major color, so I did do some color adjustments here, so I can save that as a preset also. A preset is great, especially if you do an effect that takes time and it looks really good and you wanna use it again. So just save it as a preset and you can just drop it in and save yourself tons of time. So I hope that explains how to use presets a little bit. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like or subscribe. See you next time. Thank you.